Hey everyone, Scotty from the Epstix here, and this is my first little rant video. Woo! And this one is about wrestling. Now, I honestly have had a hard time in the past two years really getting into it. I keep my ears open for something big, but otherwise didn't pay much attention. I was one of those guys that started about Ruthless Aggression Era, made it to about 2010, when it just stopped and started repeatedly. I mean, the shit they were doing, the CM Punk, Drew McIntyre, it was just awful. And Straight Edge Society just was absolutely horribly booked, losing to Rey Mysterio over and over and over again. Came back when I heard Nexus and Wade Barrett beat Cena. And then I stopped when, of course, a couple weeks later, Cena just completely destroyed and buried all their careers. <laughs> so I started again, Money in the Bank, where, you know, the, one of the greatest matches of all time, CM Punk John Cena, and of course, pretty much stayed for the entire CM Punk title reign, until The Rock. Oh my god. Rock coming back and winning the title for no good reason. But part-timers winning titles is another reign. This time, I'm looking at the upcoming WWE Draft and why, as a wrestling fan, I'm actually excited. I'm excited that for the first time in years, SmackDown won't just be a raw replay show with no meaning. SmackDown can legitimately be something on its own again. Not only that, but we'll be able to see hidden gems that were usually outshined shine. And it's really cool when you think about that. Especially when they're not being buried by John Cena. Maybe, just maybe even, that means Zack Ryder gets a real push that lasts more than two weeks. Now, as excited as I am about the draft, I do know WWE, and I know that Vince has really fucked some shit up in the past. I mean, going back to, again, CM Punk and Drew McIntyre 2010, look at the NWO in 2002, the Invasion Angle, you look at, I mean, Katie Vick, I mean, there was so much shit that Vince fucked up. And I know it's possible that he fucks this up as well. I know that if he doesn't give SmackDown the firepower that it needs, nobody will give a damn about it, because Raw is an hour longer, and according to WWE.com, because of this, Raw gets three superstars for every two that SmackDown gets. So SmackDown has less to work with. SmackDown needs established stars, especially Cena and Lesnar, to get the audience it needs to be more successful. And it would really work well if they had their own world title. Personally, I would love it if they drafted Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is absolutely amazing. It gives SmackDown the world title, which is something nobody would expect. I think it'd be really interesting. Otherwise, if you want to do what everyone expects, is just bring back the big gold belt. And, I don't know, hold a battle royal or a tournament or something to give the title to anyone that isn't Cena. Of course, we all know that if they bring back the title belt, it's probably going to end up in Cena's hands pretty quickly. Let's just hope for the love of God that Cena doesn't get that. Please. I mean, I'll, I'll pay Vince McMahon every single dime I have in my name to just not have Cena as the world champion right away. But as for Raw, they can do with less star power, since they are already the far bigger show. They don't need Cena or Lesnar or anyone like that. I mean, you still have to have stars on there, which is why Roman reigns for sure, because if they want Roman to be the face of the company, they can't have him face Cena, you know? They have to be two different shows kept separate. And I'd probably put Randy Orton there, honestly so that we didn't have Cena versus Orton for the 10 millionth time. And plus, Randy Orton's pretty interesting to see. We'll see what he can do. I'd also love to see Finn Balor. Finn Balor being called up from NXT. It's probably not going to happen. Part of me wants him to stay on NXT, because it's the one thing that 
wrestling has been doing right for the past year. But I would also love to see him come up and make Raw and SmackDown better shows. I would actually love to see Finn Balor. I don't, I don't care if it's a rivalry with The Miz. You're going to put him in the IC title hunt right away. You'll want to wait a little bit. You know, I, I don't care how they do it. I want to see Finn Balor get either the Intercontinental Championship run he deserves, U.S. title run he deserves, so that he can start making those titles better again. Because he will make those titles better if you put them in his hands. Believe me, all you have to do is just not be dumb and make him lose it to the big show. <laughs> but that's, you know, this, this rant is really about why I'm excited. I've got two main reasons. First, we don't know who's going where, what kind of new rivalries we'll get to see. Is Finn Balor coming up from NXT? Is he going to go to Raw or SmackDown? Who's he going to feud with? Um, you know, is he going to go for the IC title, the US title? Are they going to push him straight to the one, one of the world titles? You know, we don't know. Probably not, of course, but, you know, that's, that's the unpredictability of it. We don't know what they're going to do with different superstars. We don't know what kind of rivalries we'll see. And that's what's really interesting. We'll get to see fresh rivalries that aren't Cena Orton, aren't Cena Lesnar. We're not getting the Shield rivalry. We're getting brand new rivalries, which can be legitimate. And, you know, the other reason is that we're going to get to see more superstars who were initially mid-carters, just lower mid-carters, mid-carters, looking Zack Ryder, uh, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, looking at those guys, and hopefully they'll do something with Heath Slater, Curtis Axel, make them do something good. But we'll see them go from mid-carters higher up, hopefully. And I think that's really cool, too. We'll get to see more people shine. Hopefully social outcasts don't be stuck where they are. And you know what? This looks like a really fun, unpredictable ride. So as of now, I may just be hooked back into wrestling. Well, like and subscribe if you want to. And in the comments, tell me how you think the draft will go. Peace out.